But I think that was kind of essential training, to be honest. I'm going to invite you to a lobby. It's been a while since I've done one of these, um, but let's mix it up. I would have taken Teemo, but I don't have it on this account for whatever reason. Now, I have pretty high ping, but it, it'll still like allow me to kind of demo what I want to demo. Um, so yeah, I mean, go ahead and, and do what you think is normal here and we'll talk through each decision. Now, see, that would be way too early for that. For the ghost? Yeah, because now I just get to recall. See? Oh, yeah, minions aren't even out. And you should be recalling, too. Right now, you can recall at any point in, like, a minute. But remember what I said. Like, if your opponent demonstrates that he's not a fucking moron, you're not going to be able to do that, right? <laughs> yeah. But, you I mean, low elo, they will be a moron often. Yeah, I've got a, a lot of times when I'm sitting in that bush, like they'll just AFK walk into it and I get a free kill. Right, right, right. The shadows are to be feared. Pretty hard to farm on this ping. <laughs> So make sure you don't lose XP though, whatever you do. Now let's talk about what just happened so you went for a trade even though there's a big wave there even if you land the grab it's not going to do anything yeah i'm just taking more damage if i do right can't farm these you can't if you do that <clears throat> now let's talk about this though so your goal is to catch the the vein do you have ghosts up soon yeah, 20 seconds. So really fight to keep... There, it would have been a... Yeah, so really let the wave trim out before you try to make a move. Like, look at the wave right now. This would be the timing where you can maybe do like some sort of like flash grab or... Like flash grab into ghost or something. Now the wave's pretty thin. Did you have ghosts with that or no? No, that was just flash. Got it, I got it. It's too telegraphed, I think. It might work now, actually. You see what I mean, though? Yeah. If you... If you... you if, exactly. If you wait... Let's leave. Let's do it again. That's why you need to go flash ghost. But you need to keep your health really, really high. Yeah. You can't take goofy trades before that point. Same thing. Do what you think is reasonable. That early ward is kind of like a... It looks goofy, but it's actually like a high elo thing. Believe it or not. Yeah. Because what that does is if, if, if your opponent's willing to go to this bush... So here, I'll show you what it does. Come stand on the ward. I'm not going to hit you for this. So stand on the ward. Yeah. So... It 
basically what's going to happen is I can obviously see you, but the other thing is that you can't just like sit in there forever. And if the minions see you, they're going to like push you off. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it and forces you. you... Push to, uh, creep aggro. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's true too. So you essentially are in a position where like you can't get fucking boned by the guy flanking in the bush. That's good. Do you see how the minions are aggroing me? That means yeah, that... Left. Yes, that means that uh, th it's going to push to you. Just make sure you don't lose XP. Yeah, I'm still getting it. I have XP turned on so I can kind of learn. My yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm missing autos everywhere because I'm on 1,000 ping. <laughs> the shadows are to be feared. It's like 180. It's like dial-up. Go ahead, leave. Let's try again. I trolled that. So let's talk about the ghost, though, that you just did. That is way too early, though. The wave is too big. You have to let it trim out. Yeah. Yeah, you have to let it trim out. Remember, though, there's a change, and this is what I was talking about at the beginning of the, the, the stream when I went live. So when the minions hit the tower, they no longer go on, on uh, you. If, like, you so if you jump out on me when they crash the tower and then you flash E, even though the wave's huge, like, it's not going to matter. Does that make sense? Yeah. I heard, I heard you were talking about that in the video you made on YouTube. Right. So, I like, you don't really have to worry quite as much about the timing being perfect anymore. You just have to make sure that the minions went under tower. Ideally, yeah. ideally, though, the reason why you wouldn't just go as soon as they go under tower is you need to get a level up first. That's why when you went all in there, you were running back to tower and you were super low. Yeah. Because there's too many minions, they weren't under tower yet, and you have a level, there's a level gap. Yeah, and I'm missing an ability. Right, right. Well, it's also base stats, too. Yeah. So, like, just try, try to... How about this? For this one... Focus literally on just don't do the all in until I tell you, okay? And that way you can kind of understand it better. You're allowed to, I mean, if you think you could kill me while it's pushing, sure, but do not do not go yet. Okay? Just don't don't use ghosts and all that shit yet. Okay. Just for this one, okay? Okay. So now just don't let me auto you for free. Try to try to um yeah. Next time, okay, come back here for a second. Do what you just did. So walk down the lane like that. Like walk down the lane. Do you see how like you're walking to your tower yeah. when I'm chasing you? Duck into the brush. So like, yes. Oh, now look. If, you to get close. Yeah, I can't do anything about that except ward it. Yeah. Now if I ward it, you have to give the brush. Yeah. Does that make sense? Like if I ward it, you need to give the brush away. But say, let's just test this again. So sit like... Right there. Yes, perfect. Now, if I walk at you, go to the brush. There you go. That just means that, like, you're protecting yourself, and it makes it a lot harder. But preemptively run back to tower, even though you touch the brush. So, like, here... Yeah, there you go. That's much better. You see how it's, like, really hard for me to feel confident? Yeah, because I you either walk towards the bush and get eat in, or... Right. But if you walk straight towards base, you might get autoed a few times if you misclick or time it badly or whatever. Yeah, and, and you can like tumble after me and get a right, 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 right. Bane's like the worst one you could probably get, to be honest, in terms of uh, lanes. All right, so don't go in yet. Don't go in yet. So what I would do, just looking how this plays out, as soon as I hit level three here, that's when I would think about it. Right here. See how the minions are, like, not under tower yet? Yeah. Here's another window coming. So when you hit level 4, so say, like, right here. This is a very simplistic one. Just act like you're super patient or whatever. Chill. And then as soon as you get level 4, you need to, like, go. Go. 
Don't back down, though. Like, yeah, keep faking it a little bit. There you go. Little wiggles. Now, once you have your cooldowns again, you could try again. Now see now you have the push, use the bushes. Look at my look at my HP. Like I have flash, yes, but look, look how shitty this is for me. And slow play your W more next time. Don't feel like you have to rush it. Like I said, Vayne's the worst one you could get. And most players yeah. can't play Vayne at all, so I wouldn't worry about that. I just, I, this is the only ranged one that makes sense for you up here. Don't use the yeah. W so early. Slow play it more. And let, like, try to land more autos with your ghost first. Let's try it again. This is better than you being in game, to be honest. <laughs> this is like a better use of your time, in my opinion. Go ahead and leave this uh, game if you haven't already. Yeah, I just did. I didn't invite you. Whoops. Let's do it again. Let us hunt those who have fallen to darkness. Uh, God is okay. There it goes. Now you're at a beginner level, so bonus tips if you really want to like push your mechanics a bit is when you land the stun and you're say you run ghost and you land the stun and you're facing like a vein or a Quinn, try to get behind them during that stun. Yeah, when I have my Q up, I, I try to, but it's... And when I have my ult up, I definitely try to, because I get behind them and I ult them the opposite way. Yeah, because if you can do that, like, I can basically just condemn you backwards at any point here, which kind of makes this a bit unfair for you, but I'm just basically giving you, again, a ranged matchup so you can kind of see the timings to mess with it. Quinn is harder than Vayne. Uh, Quinn is... Yeah, Quinn is pretty hard. I'll give you that. I feel like I've definitely seen more veins than I have Quinn though. Wait, like Vein Vein does way more damage than Quinn, so it's it's a lot it's a lot harder to uh in my opinion, it's harder to beat to beat Vayne if piloted right. There's a reason my my uh top lane coach, one of them, uh Saskio mains Vayne, for example. He's like thousand LP challenger or something. Good. That was actually really good. You don't pop out, though. There's no need to pop out. Like, until the minions are low. So when they're low, you can try to, like, pop out and eat them and then duck into the bush real quick. You know what I mean? Yeah, totally. Now, they, yeah. these ones, these range ones, would be probably too costly for you, like, HP-wise. But, like, those front melee ones, if you're allowed to do it, take them. It's a bit of a juggling act, though. Yeah, that was a good try. That was exactly what you should be trying to do. The idea is that, like, as you're doing this, understand that your main objective is to keep your health high, but you should try to find gold when you can. Do you understand? Yeah. Be careful with your abilities, though, because if they hit too many minions, it'll drag this whole situation out. I don't know... I don't know how we're still in this position with the wave. I don't know what you did to the wave. I didn't see it, but I'll push it a bit. I as I outed one minion when it was low. Is that what it was? I release them from their pain. Yeah, I'll just push it into. <laughs> My ward just failed. <laughs> it's so hard on 200 ping.
You can go for occasional minions. Occasional. Very scarce. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why did you... No, that was good. Don't give up that easy. You can't just you can't just give up that fast because your W is going to counteract some of the minion aggro. It's more about just having a long lane to work with. That's another big wave crashing down. So you want to get at least to level 5 first. Before you consider it. Alright, let's, let's try it again. Is this making sense a little bit? Yeah, it is. Now, try to work in farming occasionally. A very occasionally. Chat's saying that he should be trying to hit CS. No, chat. He shouldn't, though. Not that often, because if he hits it... Basically, I can... I'm on 190 ping. If he goes for every fucking minion and I'm on low ping, he's gonna, he's gonna take a shit ton of damage for that. It's the same thing versus Teemo. He can't do that. He has to... It's okay to get farm. All he has to do is win one time in the lane and he's safe. Like, he's good. He just has to win one all in and he's good for the rest of the lane phase. He needs to learn that timing. Because if he can't... If he can't get those kills in the long lane scenarios with flash ghost he's pretty fucked and let's be honest if you're running flash teleport anyways you're not really winning lane you're just trying to like make up for losing right yeah literally Let us hunt those who have fallen to darkness. but if he tries to farm with a giant wave under tower he all all i have to do is auto him e and then like auto tumble again and then he's going to lose like half his health to that. And then you can't even do the all in. Right. That's yeah, that's the point. You got to keep it high. <laughs> Fake the bush sometimes. There you go. You run to tower first. Yeah. You have to basically get out of the bush and then go back in. Uh, you should reset anyways. It's good that you're checking the bushes like that, but make sure if the guy chases you, you, you try to fucking get him for that. Yeah. You could, if you're feeling like really, really manly, you could like early ghost sometimes, but I don't think it... I think you may actually want to consider verse range. You may want to consider going lethal tempo as well. Conqueror might be yeah. too... Yeah, it might be too uh, greedy. Lethal makes a little bit more sense, to be honest. Yeah, I feel like lethal would definitely make laning phase, but it isn't doesn't kind doesn't of matter. Doesn't matter. Game, doesn't matter. You need to win your lane. Doesn't matter. You're just too you're too gimped. I mean, think about it. You're gonna fall like eight, you know, hundred CS behind and two levels behind if you don't, right? Yeah. I 
hear the innocent cry out. Yeah, this is kind of the boring part. But, you know, it's part of the game. And you get used to, like, this is how it's supposed to be. If you see your opponent do that, walk at him next time. Like, if you ever see your opponent tumble like that, you could just ghost and walk at me there. Yeah, I tried to E. Like, I just realized you could have probably, like, forced, like, a ghost trade at that spot. Which would still benefit you, I think. Especially if you land damage. Yeah. I, uh, I was like, I was bust from landing an E. That's good. Beware. Don't waste any time. You better be up here trying to go. Play it slow. Don't rush your W. Don't give up. That's better. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Don't give up. That's like the worst thing you can do, in my opinion. Because look how long. Okay, let me show you an example. Go ahead and leave real quick. You can't You can't let go at, at that point. Remember, I have a ward there. Yeah. Yep, I remember as soon as you kept walking towards me, I was like, oh, yeah. Don't lose your XP though. I think you lost too much. Uh, yeah, I lost one minion. Might have been two. The dark should hear me. You're kind of experiencing why ranged is so punishing because once you're in that position back there, look at this. So that you're. Yeah. I can't even use the bush. That's why, like, a lot of Riven players will say, like, level one, like, Kennen and Jace and all those, they, like, zone Riven. I think now Jace doesn't, but, like, Kennen does, for example. Like, you could just get zoned level one. There's not much you can do about it. And that could cost you XP. Ooh, that's really bad for me. The ping struggles... But see, this is more like what your opponents will likely do in your games, too. Yeah. Is it like tank a random turret shot? shot yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to sit that far back. Yeah. You want to kind of tease the guy into autoing you. And like there, I would try to go for that cannon with like my E or something while I'm waiting. See how long it takes because of that mist. Don't yeah. give up, though. Wiggle at it a little bit. Yeah. Remember, you'll have your W as well. Make sure when the trade ends, make sure when the trade ends, you land, you fling out that W. Yeah, just not waste the grit. Did you miss the grab? Is that what happened? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Once you have your uh, CDs, you should probably just go while the wave's at its back. Yeah.
That's more in line with what you would be doing, though, that whole sequence. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. I'll sleep. All right. You've gotten your range training for now. I think I've, like, gotten your brain kind of thinking about it. My only criticism here is that you need to find excuses to farm occasional. You're still not finding farm occasional. And now you also see how shitty it is to miss those early minions XP wise. That's yeah. why I harp on it, right? You've got the whole it fucking picture prolongs, now. Right. It prolongs when you can get all in. So go lethal. And then also don't feel like you always have to do it with ghosts first. And sometimes try to open with flash first to see how your opponent responds to that. 